Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this problem, we have uh, sine squared x times the sine of 2x. Let's go ahead and try to integrate this solution. So the problematic piece is the sine 2x. So what I'm thinking is whenever you see sine 2x, um, there is an identity that is super useful. So the sine of 2x is equal to 2 sine x cosine x. So a good first step in this problem is to just eliminate or replace the sine 2x with this piece here. And hopefully things work out. I think we should be able to do it. No problems after that. Um, so let's try it. So we have sine squared. That hangs out. And then sine 2x, that's going to be 2 sine x uh, cosine x. And then we have the dx. All right, good stuff. Now maybe we can combine these uh, sine terms, right? We have sine x times sine squared. That's going to give us sine cubed. Um, I'll leave the two on the inside. So two sine cubed x cosine x, and then we have uh, dx. All right, we have powers of sine and cosine. Um, whenever you have powers of sine and cosine, you save a copy of the one that's being raised to an odd power. That's the technique. So powers of sine and cosine. If you have powers of sine and cosine, you have both powers, right? Powers of sine and cosine. Save a copy of the odd one. Save odd. Save odd. Virus notification. No viruses. <laughs> All right. Save a copy of the odd one. Okay. So um, cosine is right here. So we're saving a copy of that. And you see, if you let u be sine, the derivative is cosine. So, so it works out so easy in this case. So let u be sine x. And then du is cosine x dx. All right, so we have the integral of 2 times u cubed du. So this strategy here, I mean, you didn't even need to know it to do this problem. You can just look at this and say, oh, yeah, u is sine. The derivative is cosine. Boom. Um, but worth, worth knowing. Worth knowing. All right, uh, now we can integrate this. This is 2 using the power rule, u to the 4 over 4 plus c. 2 over 4 is 1 half. So this is 1 half. And then u was sine, so this is sine to the fourth power, right? plus our constant of integration, c. And that is the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. And the key idea here is that whenever you see sine 2x, um, always think of this identity. Will this technique always work? Will this identity always work? Um, probably not, but it's a good start. That's it.